it, it, you know, attacking wise, there's probably not much to choose between the two teams, but it didn't have that, that, that base you could rely on. And we haven't been able to rely on that last couple of games, and that shows, you know, it, I think sometimes people, even your own players, get a little bit nervous in the game because you feel like the opposition can score any time. Just, I think when you're playing in a team, you don't feel you're going to concede. I think the rest of the team relaxes and just plays and just thinks one goal, two goals, that's enough. I don't think it's squad depth, uh, really. I think we've got the numbers there. I mean, I've been uh, getting plenty of stick off Liverpool fans on social media for saying Man United had a better squad. I think I should probably just qualify that a little bit. I just think in attacking areas, it's not so much they've got more players than us. I just think they've probably got a little bit more quality coming off the bench. Mm. And I'm, the reason I'm using them as an example is that, that they're not going for the league. We're going for the league. Yeah. So, you know, uh, and that, that's all I mean by that. So just, I, mean, I think we've known for a long time our front three are imperative to uh, how we do this season. And, you know, touch wood. I mean, no one's picked up a serious knock I think at any stage this season I think we probably need that to the end of the season I don't think that's uh, being negative about the club I just think it's a fact I think 11 v 11 we're better than United on, on paper if you like we've proven that this season I'm probably as good as, good as City well, I, I don't agree with Fabinho to be honest I think he's done quite well I think he's almost made himself first choice I think if, if Liverpool are picking their best team at the moment I think Fabinho plays in midfield uh, Cater there's no doubt uh, we were expecting you know a bit more uh, he's had injuries. I don't think what I don't think's helped him is the change in formation. Yeah. We've now gone to sort of four two three one, and he, he looks to me that he's a, a player who plays in a three man midfield. Yeah. So at times Jurgen sort of used him wide, not wide, but tucked him wide, sort of on the left. Uh, at times he played central midfield last couple of games and just hasn't quite uh, happened for. But sometimes as well, to be fair to him is. Sometimes you need the team to play well when you're just getting in the team. And when the team doesn't play well, yeah. people look at you because you're the new player or he hasn't done that. Sometimes you need the others to carry you along when you, you, you're not maybe at your confident best. So that hasn't quite happened for him at the moment. But uh, and you get Henderson back, you get Milner back, uh, we get Trent back into right back. I think the, the squad and the team are sort of healthier. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I mean, I think, you know, this talk now and criticism or from outside, I think, I think it's a little bit harsh on, on the team and the squad and the manager, really. What they've done this season is unbelievable. To actually be up there with City for what they did, you know, 100 points last season, they're probably going to match it or be very close this season, and we're with them and above them. So, you know, to talk about, oh, they've drew a couple of games, or they've lost the nerve, or lost this, lost that, they're not going to win every game. It's not possible, you know. Uh, and at this moment, Liverpool are still the only team in the country who can say if we win every game, we win the league.